Howdy guys and gals, Mikey V here. It's time for something a little bit different. It's going to be a bit of a science experiment of sorts. I have here two steel pennies that are nice and rusty that I inherited from my grandfather. And I found out a way that you can clean them using lemon juice and a little bit of salt. So what you want to do is you want to take the lemon juice, put just enough in a small container that it will cover the coin. And you want to put some salt in there, just enough to make it a little cloudy. So I'm going to do this a little bit at a time. Actually, that handful might have been just about enough. And, uh, so it's shut. Shake it up a bit. Get it nice and mixed. Yeah, that looks about right. Nice and cloudy. You want to put the penny in the liquid, and then you let it sit for about five minutes. And uh, I guess while we're letting that soak, I can uh, talk about the uh, steel pennies a little bit. As we all know, um, from 1909 to 1958, the pennies were with Lincoln, but they had the wheat ears on the back. And in 19 43 during uh, World War II to save copper for munitions they made all the pennies or most of them out of steel so that the precious copper could be used where it was needed for the war effort and uh, there are some errors that you can find uh, you can come across a you can come across a 1943 that is copper or you can come across a 1944 that is steel, so you can get kind of a good view of that. Both of the ones I have here are 1943 Denvers, uh, pretty common. Um, what you want to do when it is done soaking, so you want to take some water, immediately rinse it off, and then dry it as soon as you get it out of the water, and then put it into something like this, something that will keep it somewhat airtight so that it won't just immediately oxidize again because once you've cleaned the rust off of it um, I'm going to be using this microfiber cloth because it uh, it won't scratch it as bad as anything else um, but you immediately want to put it into something that will keep it out of the air so that it won't just oxidize it and since you're getting rid of rust anything rusty that you clean unless you put some kind of protective coating on it, will immediately rust again once exposed to oxygen, just because it's already kind of been prepped with rust. So, um, unfortunately, still got another few minutes left on that. Um, I only have the one container, or I do two of them at once, but you can kind of see a before and after, like I already showed you the nasty rusty coin. And I'll show you this one once it's done and you can see you can see that uh, just enough liquid to cover the top of the coin. Steel pennies are pretty abundant. Uh, most of the time you're going to come across them looking like this. If you do come across one that is really shiny more than likely, it's been cleaned in some way. Uh, just in, in regular circulation, they're going to get tarnished and or rusty. But, uh, there are some examples that you can find that are... Uh... Oops. <laughs> there are some examples you can find that are going to be pretty nice. But uh, nothing's going to be quite as 
lustrous as it would have been from the mint. Alright, I guess it's been five minutes, so let's take this out and uh, rinse it off and uh, dry it. When you dry it, most of that rust should just come right off. Let's get that into the flip real quick before it. Uh, completely but uh, you get the idea now you see the cleaned version it's not quite as shiny as it could be with other methods but it is a lot less rusty and then before of this one go ahead and toss that in there that sit for about five minutes as well. Now you can, if you need to, let it sit a little longer if it doesn't get quite as clean as you'd like it to. Like this one, I probably could have let it sit in there a little longer. But uh, photos of them will be up on my Snups account. Um, if you want to go check that out, I'll try to put a link to the uh, shelf with the coin on it in, uh, in the comments. But uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, Mikey V signing out.